afternoon and welcome back to Open Mitts Without Any Tits. You can see it's lunchtime, it's not evening, so I'm making my lunch. I am working today, I'm working from home um, as I've been for a while, and um, I thought I'd make myself some fresh soup for my lunch today. So, that's time of year where pumpkins are available. Now, this soup that I've been making for quite some time is a recipe that I was uh, basically we had it when we used to go to Fat Club. Sorry, shouldn't call it Fat Club, I'm sure that. Slimming World and somebody made it for a taster night and it was really nice. I don't like pumpkin, this is another one of these ones where I don't like the vegetables in it but this, this soup is delicious. So I tried it at uh, Slimming World, liked it, downloaded the recipe and I tweaked it slightly just to enhance it for what I think. So I would use a soup maker for mine. If you've got a soup maker, great. If not, you can make it in a pan. If you make it in a pan, you need to um, put your, your onion in first and just sort of brown it up in a bit of uh, fry light or olive oil or something. And then you add all your spices, your pumpkin and everything else and leave it for about 20 25 minutes. Now you can have it chunky or you can have it smooth. I prefer smooth. So without further ado, this really is the simplest recipe you'll ever find. Again I've had my crusty diced onion. So you want about half an onion's worth in there. Into that, I'm going to put my. Um, I'll put, yeah, I'll put this in first. This is about 500 grams of pumpkin. Now I leave the f the flesh on as well, isn't the flesh, the skin on, so it has a little bit of fibre to the uh, to the soup. So you throw all that in, and about two teaspoons of thyme. teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Now I would show you this on the uh, on the GoPro cam but because the soup maker is quite big um, I've not, it's not that big it won't see into it. Um, so about a heap tablespoon or a heap teaspoon of uh, oh, get it right but a heap teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and about 75 grams of uh, red lentils so they're just split red lentils. Throw them in. And I've made up 600 mils of vegetable stock. So you just pour this in until you reach your max line in the soup maker. If you are making it in a pan, just throw it all in. You know what, it took, took nearly all of that. That wasn't a bad guess. It wasn't a bad guess at all. Give it a bit of a stir around. It doesn't really matter about stirring it because the soup maker has got a, a blade in it so it's going to mix it and, and cut it up once it's cooked anyway. So I'll pop the lid on. I have to wriggle it down a little bit to get through the, uh, through the pumpkin. This will go on for I think it's about 20 minutes. There's a cream setting, you can have cream uh, soup with pieces. Uh, but I always go for cream, I prefer it a bit smoother. So this is on about 20 minutes. Once it's done we'll come back and we'll put a little bit of creme fraiche in it and it'll be ready to serve. So don't go anywhere and get ready for this taste sensation, honestly. What I will be doing over the next couple of weeks is uh, buying lots of pumpkins, cutting it up into 500 gram bags and popping it, excuse me, that's how hungry I am burping, uh, popping it into the freezer because pumpkin is seasonal, you can't get it apart from this time of year for Halloween. So I shall be stocking up while I can. So, see you in about 20 minutes. Here we go. The soup is ready. Now I've got my pan fresh. I'm going to put quite a big blob of a teaspoon into it before I serve it. And then I'll be ready for um, everyone to just come and eat as when they want. When I say everyone, it'll be me. Neil might eat some as well. But. So a big blob into there and give it a stir. Now you can just put it onto individual portions if you want, the creme fresh. But I found when I was doing that, I was forgetting to put it on. And it's still nice without it, but it just kind of gives it that creamier texture without it being fatty. My oh, that smells so good. It smells delicious. I forgot how good they smell and tasted. So I'll just pop that over there for now. I'll pop that back in there. I shall pour 
puts them in. In fact, should we, should we do this uh, fancy style? We'll get the, uh, the GoPro on this. Get a proper close-up. There we go. Those lumps are just the creme fraiche. So you can continue to give it a bit of a mix. And there we have it. Homemade pumpkin red lentil soup. So give it a go, if you like it, drop us a, drop us a, a thumbs up and a subscribe and, and all that jazz. I've not said that for a while, have I? And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe. See you next time in the kitchen.